following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman on this 11th day of December. My pleasure to be here Monday through Friday, noon till 1 p.m., 877-927-6654 is the number to call. We're at a very important juncture. Everything about yesterday's turnaround was suggesting that there should be some kind of uh, upside reversal that continued into today with a chance that if there was a reasonably strong rally that held into the 1.30 p.m. time frame, 1.10, 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, with a decent close, that there could be a rally for most of the week. And there were a couple of technical reasons, but not political or geopolitical or in any other way uh, related. It was purely technical. Well, we got that. In fact, the Dow was up over 300 points. The E-mini, um, which was at 2583 yesterday morning at about this time, <clears throat> rallied to 26.78, almost 100 points, but it hasn't been able to hold it and is now down three points. The s and is down 49. So let me just go through this. I wanted to just take a moment before I go through all the numbers because it's important to do it right now at uh, just after noon Eastern time because this trend line that I drew for subscribers and I posted in the den earlier on showed there was a left side, right side cup formation <clears throat> that had formed, and that this very uh, strong down move, the candle at noon on the 7th, going from 27.04 to 26.50, that whopper of a down move, that if we got into that candle, above the candle that followed it with a high uh, at 4 o'clock on the close of the 7th at 26.40, if we could get into that and then hold this, what I call a Chapman Wave inside wedge resistance line, target resistance line, which came in around about 2672, if that was pierced and it held, there could be a pretty decent rally. And it could take you, I don't know if it could take you to 2682 or 2692, I'm sorry, the 2692, the 200 period exponential moving average, but it could be a pretty decent rally. Well, we did everything, and then the market started to stall. Um, it hit that line, it went a little bit above it, it went to 2678, round number. Now it's at 2640. That is um, almost a 40 point decline. This is it's for me it was really important the close today is going to be very important and i'll explain why if the when the tide changes to be able to get a stronger move against that trend like, like we were in an intermediate term sell mode based on that sell signal that i got the day after the all-time high in the dow on the third of the fourth of october was the high the third we we were actually shorted um, and had a real nice short position all the way down to the 2500s in the Dow, 25,000s. This is really important right now because if there is no strength whatsoever when the technicals are, are producing signs that there should be a rally that's more sustainable, it says that the greater tide is what you've got to keep following and that rallies are probably rallies that you either step aside and then look for the shorts or you just trade them on a very short-term basis, which is what we're kind of trying to do here. And then you've got to see what happens if there is a rally and it's sustainable. And in this case, you know, sustainable, you need to be sustainable for at least two sessions. You just can't keep going down. Okay, enough with that. 
Now it's down five, $5.25. Let's go to the Dow. INDU. The dollar is trading right now down. Uh, it is down 71 at 24,351. Had a rally to 24,791. It's over 400 points down from the, I mean, this is incredible. Um, all right. So that means that the low of yesterday at 23,881 <clears throat> is quite significant because it went to a lower low in the arch formation. And I'll talk about that in a, in a short while. But let me just say that the arch formation that goes from a lowercase h to a lowercase m took out the left side low of 24,122. That was the 29th low of October. Now it's really important because if we're coming back to that level, it makes that weekly chart weaker and weaker. The WEEK is getting WEAK. Not good at all. All right, makes the resistance up at the 25,000 level potent. Okay, S&P. S&P right now, the actual cash is down. Um, now that's a very interesting because the cash is only down 0.84, not even a point. Um, at 26.37, had a high of 26.74, <laughs> almost 40 points down. And yesterday's low of 26.31, I believe that was 26. Hmm, 20, 25.83, I forgot to change it. 25.83, I knew it had changed, but I forgot to put it in. 25.83, um, that's just, that is really important to hold. And what's even more important is that the arch formation took out the left side low of 26.03 back from October, the late October. And today should have been a powerful move that was sustainable. There is just too much going on, I think, internationally, nationally, all over the show to say that we can we can get out of this without um, having lower lows and lower highs for a little while to come. All right. So the upside, 26.78 is going to be a really strong resistance now. It better hold 26.28. Uh, otherwise, that's not good action at all. QQQ. QQQ is still acting not too bad, considering it has gone to, from um, what? Let's see. Yesterday's low was above the 157.13 low of the 13th of November. It went down to 159, had a strong rally today to 165.77. That's six points. That's a lot of points. And now it's holding at 0.35% higher. The Dow is 0.27 lower. The S&P is unch. So this is really important that it is showing some relative strength. I want to see that we are in a long position here. Let's see if that long position can hold really tight stops. I don't want to mess around. Uh, but all I can say is that this is the opportunity for the uh, the queues that were the weakest to at least show some relative strength and, and do some leading just in the short term. That'll be important. They need to get back to the 160. It's a 163.65. Really needs to start trading in the 164s by this afternoon rather than the 163.20 area. And at 163.65, it's up 58 cents. The IWM, now this is going to be interesting. Look, the, the Qs are up 0.33%. The IWM is up 0.16. Both of them are showing better relative strength in the down the S&P. But this is a lousy chart. I do not want to even think of going long this. Not at this time. There will be a nice trade coming up. I don't see it just yet. IWM trading at 143.84 up 24 cents and just before we go to the break i want to say gold which was a little higher earlier is now about unchanged at 12.49.3 this is going to be so interesting between gold silver and the dollar i'll be right back the taz profile scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence as you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Well, we're back, so now we're looking at gold. <clears throat> gold is on this particular point. What's really important about it is that it is a mini up channel in the weekly chart going from 1167.10 uh, that was the low that was established, I think that was August, but let me check. Yeah, week of August the 17th. And it made a series of higher highs and higher lows. This last one is a leg C in the weekly chart. It's gone to a leg B in the monthly chart, and that's really very good. It isn't a great pattern, but it is really good that it's actually squeaked to be. It hasn't closed above that high that was made uh, right here in the continuous contract back. Uh, that was October of 2018, just three months ago, at uh, 1252.5. But it's at 1249.6 right now. Here's what I'm looking at. Because of market conditions, I'm really surprised that gold is not trading very powerfully into the 1260, 1270 area, trying to make its way towards the weekly 200 period moving average of 1304. Why? Because gold, in many ways, represents, it's a harbinger of fear. So I look at it this way. If the financials, if the XLF is trading so poorly, way off the high of 30.33 at 24.59, and legs C in the weekly chart, sell mode in the weekly chart, I'm sorry, in the monthly chart, leg F in the uh, weekly chart, um, I would have thought that money would have drifted into gold, but my thinking here has been for quite some time based on the way the dollar has been so strong, that it isn't the, the hedge funds and the institutions. I don't know which country, maybe it's America, I'm not sure which country is really buying, but this is big money that is going into the... There's no other way that I can explain it other than to say heavy money is going into the dollar, and that to me is a harbinger of strength. It is a way of saying um, 
there might be things going on around the world that even though it makes the United States currency the strongest, of course, it does have the euro within it, but even though it is uh, basically a currency that represents what's going on, perhaps economically, in this case, I think economically, in the strongest country, and at this point, you have to think America is still the strongest country internationally, and there might be some smaller ones that are doing very well. But I'm talking about the major countries. And that's why the dollar, and I had a thesis way, when I think way back, I'm talking about the 1980s, when I noticed that the yen was doing really well as Japan had just made its entrance into the United States with Toyota and Honda and had started producing absolutely fantastic quality cars. And I remember railing against GM and screaming and shouting to my, to my, uh, uh, to, to my uh, clients uh, of my market line and newsletter and service to, and saying, uh, is it going to be one day, is America going to one day be the strongest and we'll see the dollar as the strongest currency? Is this what happens? That countries with a very strong economy also have a strong currency? It makes sense, doesn't it? Um, but all I can say is that this is really amazing because we, we're, we're on our way, I think, towards a leg D in the weekly chart above 97.69. Now, the UUP, which we've been long since the 6th of April, um, back in the 23s, is a 26.06. It has gone to now a leg E in the, in the weekly. I haven't seen such a discrepancy. Usually I say that UUP is such a lousy vehicle um, but it's the best we've got. But in fact, it's leading the charge. It's it's broken out in the daily. I, that leg G looks to me more like a G slash C. It could go to a D still in the daily. Um, this is really good action. And that's where I wanted to spend a little time on today to say that under these conditions, it seems to me that there is there must be big money going into the dollar because the gold has been rallying and the dollar hasn't been weakening. And I've always said that if you look at the chart, I got a summary. I don't want to go in go to try to find it. If you if you look at the uh, gold and the dollar juxtaposition, um, you will find that there are periods throughout the year that instead of having the inverse effect, in other words, the counterpoint, one goes up, the other goes down like yields. When the TLT goes up, the yields go down, vice versa. Sometimes you can get them both going in the same direction, the dollar and gold, for a little while, maybe four to six weeks, a couple of times a year. And I think we're in that phase right now. One of them is going to win. I thought it would be gold. Gold has done very well. But it hasn't broken out. And the dollar is just making, very quietly making new recovery highs. Look at that monthly chart, leg B. Look at this leg B in terms of where it was. And the UUP at 26.83 back in January 2017, plummets down to 23.09. Yeah, 23.09. Um, and we've been long since 23.63, just off the bottom. And we are now, it's about two-thirds of the way to the upside. And if you look at the left side, right side price time match, let me look at this, I've got it already done, I believe, uh, DXY in the dollar itself, dollar index. This is not, you see, this has gone just over 50%, but the UUP has gone higher. All of a sudden, I'm liking the UUP a lot more. It's almost like the um, inverse funds when there's a real acceleration to the upside, it, it gone as even more strength, and on the downside, it gone as even more strength to the downside. So the UUP is acting that way, but the dollar index is just saying that the high that was made uh, the week, uh, the month of June 2017 at 97.87, we've gone to 97.69. We're a little bit underneath that, and that would have been my left side price target, and that would have said, uh, let me just draw it in here so you can see how I do this. Let me grab that. Go right to the line, to the low right there. Okay, now we're going to go to the upside. Let me just double check. I didn't do something wrong. I did do something wrong. There it is. Okay, and the, and the right side goes right there. There we go. Okay, so that takes us to, oh, it takes us to this month, December. So December should test 96, 97. 89, I think I said. 
9789 9787 and i forgot yeah i've got this look here's the left side right side price time match right there we're, we're hugging the resistance of the chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line so okay um now because so we want to go on a uh, ur usd this is the euro dollar currency pair lousy action and that was the thing that said to me I don't think the dollar's going, the gold is going to break out because this is terrible action trading at uh, 1.1306 down. Um, you've got the USD JPY, that should be up a little bit. Let's just see. USD JPY. Yes, 113.39, it's up 0.08. Not great, but it's, it is rising. It, it's still stuck in this weekly trading range. Um, I'll be back. We'll look at the crude oil as we go out. Crude oil is trading right now. It's up a little bit. It's up 57 cents at 51.57. Just stuck in a lower range. I'll be back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Before I forget, yesterday I was asked if I would look at um, M.O. Uh, Philip Morris. Uh, it's called the Altria Group. Sorry, for Altria, Altria Group. And I, I, I looked at it and I thought, you know, I needed to wait. And I forgot to mention that I needed to wait because I just didn't see anything there. Uh, I, it looks to me like Altria... <sighs> There's going to be a, a point where it becomes a kind of a dividend buy. I don't see, I don't want capital risk with a dividend, a great yield. 
let's face it, a 5%, 6%, 8%, 9%, even a 10% yield means nothing if you're buying a $53 stock and it goes to 43, your capital 10% loss uh, is not the same as a 10% uh, dividend. So I, 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 would, I would look at this and, and just say, well, this is very interesting because if you look at the, week, the, the weekly chart, there's a huge left side, right side price tie match going to the first most important low on the left side, which is uh, 18th, the week of the 18th of September of 2015 at 52.15. If it takes that out, it is just way down to the lows of 54, uh, so 47, 41. Uh, that was made in August, and it even goes back to uh, May of that year. Uh, I, I just don't see anything yet. If there is a, a decent bounce to come, then there's a dividend play and at least a 4% increase in the in the price itself. That loss, and this is the big thing. I don't know if I can give you something that would last three months to get the play or more. So I'm just saying to you, I, I forgot who asked the question yesterday. Um, I, all I can say is, that this is not a great looking pattern. It's making lower lows and oh, Jason, um, can you look at Mo on the show? Do you see it going down much further from here? I'm looking to start building a position for the long term. They're investing in medical marijuana. They're also taking a stake in the e cig brand Jewel and still own about 10% of Bud. On a separate note, will your friend no? Um, no, at this point, the answer is, at this point, I, I'll get back to you on that. So um, this is what I'm looking at here. Uh, Mo is trading at 53.53, up 17 cents. I, actually, I know someone who uh, was instrumental. I'm almost sure that this person mentioned was Jewel Help the help the company um, in the whole product line and everything. And this felt after a while. This is not the place that this person wanted to be in, and, and quit the company. Did a great thing to get them. I I think did they IPO anyway to that point, and and then left. Um, I think that this is an area that is rife with issues. The whole idea of the of medical marijuana, I think, if you look at Crone, and the companies that are buying into <clears throat> all of them, they they pop on the news and then they pull back. If you look at an STZ, which is <clears throat> one of the great distillers, well, sorry, one of the great spirits companies, I mean, they they did every single thing right. Constellation Brands <clears throat> and they have spirits, beer, now they've got medical marijuana, I believe, on the list. But they're paying a penalty for buying in at a very high price. And yet it's going to be a long time before they see uh, money coming. So I'm going to say to you, let's look at it in a different way. Let's give it time, all these companies that are buying in, <clears throat> let's give them time because certainly the tobacco companies have nothing to lose. Well, they have money to lose. But this is the thing, that, the only thing they've got left, because uh, cigarettes are, you know, kind of out of fashion. Not only that, this is, uh, with my webinar that I did the other day, I discussed this whole thing, prohibition. Um, <clears throat> the cities are just dying for this money, and dying is going to be the operative, operative word at some point. So what they're going to do is they're going to use the money that the cities get Eventually, they're going to have to build all these centers for, uh, it doesn't have to be addiction, but the addiction of whatever it is. Um, it might not actually be addiction to the product, but it could be an addiction to uh, almost like a gambling addiction. So they're going to have to put money into the whole health aspect, men mental health, etc. cetera. I, I see this just the same as prohibition. So I, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, when it becomes viable that the, they put money in and finally you're looking at some of these um, companies, there's some of these shops that are actually out there selling, like yeah, in Massachusetts, in, in one week they made four million bucks or two weeks maybe. Um, when that finally filters in and it starts to, to go to the, uh, to, the, to the companies that are putting in the big bucks to help these 
smaller companies really thrive, then I think it's viable. And then I think something like an STZ will really be um, something to buy, and maybe uh, Altria as well. So I'm just going to say to you, have a little patience. This is a longer-term outlook. I'm suspecting it's trying to build the base in the 53 to 50, 52 area. I give it a little time, and then it might be that there's a three-month rally that you've got to go step by step, one three-month period, maybe you can get another three-month period, and then it will become a dividend stock, and it will become a play on all these other byproducts that we're talking about. I'm not talking about it morally. I have nothing to do with it morally. I'm looking at the stock and saying, do I buy or do I sell? And right now I'd say to you, Jason, hold off a little bit. You could go in stages. I'm just, I don't want to make the stages my stages. They must be your stages. So I would say between 53 and 52, maybe even 51, if you want to start your first initial buy and treat it as a position that the dividend 4%, I don't know what it is, maybe 3.8 or maybe 4.2, whatever the dividend is, use that as part of your stop leverage. Or if you don't want to stop because you're saying it's a two-position play and I'll have the combined uh, yield, that's different. If you understand what we're looking at. So, Jason, I, I'm going to have to look at it almost week by week and see if it's ready to go. Okay, now next thing I want to do is the TLT. Going back to the market, the TLT is trading right now up 30 cents at 119.20. Made a leg. I have to call this a leg F at this particular point. MACD is stochastic. Everything's good. It's above the 200 period moving average of 118.20. And 117.47 is the nine period, the green line, the nine period exponential moving average support. Um, all I can say is yields have come down. The yields themselves, if you look at, say, the TNX, which is the one that, that gives the most information because that's used, the T note is used um, mostly for um, information on, 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 on the rates that people pay. 28.54, I've got it as a trough G. I suspect that it could be G slash B. But if you look at the weekly chart, you're forming a, some kind of a doji here. And that's a doji with almost a double bottom low. The MACD is still negative. The stochastic is still negative. If, how can I put this? Yields have been running up for so long that there's a period here where I think yields are stabilizing. And that's what I've been talking about, stabilizing yields. And I suspect that there's a range within the yields between something like a 320 and a two and a 27.80 just somewhere in that range i think we're just trying to establish some kind of a base At some point you're going to see yield start to rally again but right now i don't think so i'll be right back basil chapman Dallas are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the bay area including the surrounding st petersburg tampa and clearwater markets tiger real estate llc is a firm that has extensive experience in the tampa bay area whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property tiger realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the tampa bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels from the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating tiger real estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future Call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And a quick question about the home bulls. Look, the HGX went to a peak D in the day. Remember, D in the Chapman Way, the fourth highest peak is where other things can happen. Big pullback from the 269 area. It's at 252 right now. This is really terrible action. It has to. The HGX, the home bulls, Philadelphia Housing Index, it, it really has to move. I mean, you've got to get this rally. Let's see what Toll Brothers is doing. Toll Brothers is trading right now. No, it's down 0.08. Uh, this is really depressing, I must say, this, these poor old home builders. Um, I, I don't like them. I just, I, I would like to be able to buy them. I'd like, because what a nice rally you could have from major lows. Um, and the IYR is holding very well. This is the iShares Dow Jones U.S. REITs Index. This is the commercial real estate uh, recycle to an AB. C, I think it's I think it's more like a C than a G at 83. I think that it's, it can go a little higher. It's just holding really well. So it means that the dividend area based on the IYR at 8173 up 46 cents, this is in play and it's very good so far. Um, and I had another question about Boeing here. Boeing is down, is it? Yep, down 523. At 321. So I was asked the other day if I would look at Boeing, Jerry in the back bay, and I said, Jerry, I don't like it. It's acting very poorly. I still am of that opinion. And I, I think that, Jerry, if you have patience, I think you're going to get it. They said 321. I think you're going to get it in the 280s to 270s at some point over the next two months. That's where I would want to look at it because I think it will have completed a huge basing area. Um, from the 300 area, make a big arch formation with a retest and then take it out and then, then we'll start to look at it. I, I could be completely wrong, but I've been negative Boeing for a long time, even though it went to an all-time high of 394.28. Um, I still said, nope, I think it's going lower and it's gone from 394 to 296. I would say uh, almost a one-third decline. That's a pretty big decline, but there's more to come. Now, uh, uh, next question I had was, uh, let's see. Uh, um, is it in the form of subscribers? Is this a bounce that we want to short? Yes, this is going to be a bounce. Probably today was the day to short it. I don't know. All I can say is that if you're looking at the Dow, there should be enough energy to attempt to move into the 25,000 some point in the next week and a half. I don't know how it's going to do 700 points. I don't know what it'll do. It almost got to, it went to 24,800, actually. It almost got there, in fact. And then I'll be wanting to look to see if it's going to make that arch, the third arch, which is either decisively lower, so because you're going to go to a lower low, or it's an even bigger arch, and then you come down and it's used up time and price so that you don't have to break more than 23,300s. At this point, if we fail and we take out 23,800 as support, you're going to go a lot lower. 
Um, so question I had uh, is, um, hi, where can I buy the tools, plugins that you use for your waves, et cetera? All of this is not automated. Now, you might see that uh, Steve Rose did a fabulous job. He did a, a lot of work on my, my notations, but it's the notations for me, the reason why I have not automated them is because there are variations that completely confuse the, the greater picture. It's what you can see as a human being visually immediately, but there is a book that I have, it's called Introducing the Chapman Wave Methodology, and it's really comprehensive. It's on sale at TFNN, and uh, that's the only place that you can get it. And that, that covers almost all these different, not the latest, but uh, I'd say 90% of the techniques that, that I talk about here. Now, the other thing that I, I was asked about is, um, yeah, so where would, where would the, where are we? <laughs> that's the most simple thing. Right now, we are still in a sell mode in the daily. We're in a sell mode in the weekly chart. We are in a sell. We haven't got to the sell signal because I have to wait for the entire month of December. If you're looking at a candle, you can't nominate the candle for some kind of notation. Um, when it hasn't finished that notation, it's still got another two and a half weeks. It's not even the middle of the month. At this point, it looks like not only will I get a sell signal, I might even get a sell mode almost automatically, but this is not the end of the month. This is just not even the halfway through. So, um, uh, question, Basil, is that book different than your CD? No, it's a CD book. <clears throat> in other words, I could have made it as a book. I made it instead as a CD, but it's a book. And uh, you can go, uh, let me, uh, during the break, I'll grab it quickly and, and I'll go through some of it for you. A whole bunch of questions ca ca coming in. Um, so here, here's another thing that we're looking at. In the Dow monthly chart, you see the MACD is very negative. I, what's today? Today is just Tuesday. Good grief. It's only what a busy couple of days since Sunday night. Um, yeah, uh, the, the, book, the book doesn't have the song, but the song goes like this. Let me just show you. Um, let me just find something with a peak D, and then it goes to E and an F. Uh, yeah, there we are. Look, the monthly chart is probably a peak F and not a, not a G. So this is the song. Anybody ready? <clears throat> Let me just get something to drink before we have a break. All right, you ready for the song? It's called Buy at the Low and Sell at the High by Basil Chapman, copyright way back in 2002. The market goes up, the market goes down, supposed to buy at the low and sell at the high. And you know what we tend to do? We buy at the high and we sell at the low. Chapman wave is what you need. Buy with the Stoke and the old MACD. That's the stochastic and the MACD. Follow the price and wait for a peak. Higher highs is what we seek. The wave goes to A and then to B, even the anticipated C and D. That's when it flashes a cautionary light, but all you got to do is make your stops real tight. Suddenly it goes, look, 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 here it goes. Suddenly it goes to E and F. That's when it flashes. Oh. Suddenly it goes to E and F. A bell rings so loud it can make you deaf. So what you going to do? Which way to go? You sell at the high and you buy at the low. There it is. So we'll wait. We're going to be buying hopefully at the low. We did get a sell signal right at the top. We got short. We haven't got back short again. We took profits. We will get back short one of these days. And we're looking for lower lows and low highs. So that's the song. Chapman Wave, buy at the low and sell at the high. Um, all right, next question I had was, uh, yeah, I mentioned was Yellen. Looks like Yellen is doing everything she can to give us a great buying opportunity. Oh, yeah, could be right, I didn't hear that, but uh, she's always in there. Uh, she doesn't say very much, but when she does, she does. And I think that for a very long period, she did kind of what was needed. She did okay, so I'm not complaining about that. Um, well, let's get back to our story here. Uh, Couple of other questions here. Yeah, so did the job make a double top? Yes, I believe this is. Oh, I didn't do. Okay, we've got a break coming up. We'll get the CD and we'll go through a bunch of things from the CD book. Um, in the meantime, back at the ranch, we'll look at the VIX index, dollar VIX dot X as we go to the break. 
Here comes the music. Here comes the bell. It rings so loud. Um, the VIX is at 22.70, 22.82. Still hanging tough right in the 20s. It should be in the 18s to 16s. If you want a real bull market, you don't have that right now. I'll be back straight off this break. The Dow's down 63, S&P's up to. I'll be back with this diverse market. Let me get that. I'm CD certain back. you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering probability and for the last 12 months timer digest has been tracking my newsletter signals which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the s p 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Don't forget, Steve is coming up. Then you've got Dave, and then you've got uh, Tom O'Brien again. So this is my book, Introducing the Chapman Wave Methodology by Basil Chapman, Chart Analysis in the Stock Market. It has all these different sections that can introduce you to just different aspects of uh, looking and getting started. It shows you the notation, the symbols, chart patterns, trend identification, technical tools, every, every platform has it. You can draw trend lines on almost every platform that I know of. Almost every platform allows you to type in the letters. Some people use a different way of typing in letters that put, they might use a symbol or something, but it's important to be able to get to D, the fourth highest peak. Uh, let's see, uh, frequently asked questions. I give quizzes throughout. Is this different sections, the different chapters. It goes all the way to chapter, uh, chapter, 20, I never remember, chapter 27, exercises and review, even as a glossary. Uh, it's just really, it's a, it's a, uh, look, right shoulder failure pattern. Look, yeah, right here, it's where you go to the right shoulder and it makes an arch formation. That's the dreaded H, that's the, the right shoulder is where you get the turnaround. Uh, it shows you um, instant restart, a whole thing on the instant, boy, is that important, the instant restart. Look at this in the, uh, in the E-mini today, he had an instant restart. Let me find it. Right, is it in the, in the two minute chart? 
was it in the two oh it was way back it was earlier in it was earlier yeah yeah well, you got this instant restart and right there so the instant restart uh, i think it was actually in the other it was keeps going yeah so the notation is what i do and it's really easy for me i do it even when i'm tra even I'm training a two minute chart i still have time just to put in the notation have patience watch it play through um all these different techniques i discuss it i discuss how you can use the macd i discuss moving averages how you can use the stochastic remember the stochastic goes above 80 percent and then almost immediately within three to five bars turns down that's usually a big negative but if the price holds it means the next time it rallies you could move higher so i'll discuss a little more over the coming days a lot of people seem to have been interested now in talking about my 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 techniques the chapman methodology hey have a wonderful day. Check out all, all that's going on front page of TFNNN. And I will be back tomorrow. Have a great day. Stay tuned for Steve, who is a great show. And what chapter is the most important in the book? I'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay, have a great day. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading in larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then larry's service fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to larry pesavento's fibonacci 24 7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters